A warning tonight about the flu and just how serious it can become. A Lakeland girl right here came close to dying after falling ill with the flu, and she still has a long road to recovery. All new at 6, ABC Action News reporter Ryan Raish has her brave story and the country music star helping her fight. Brandy Sonny is just 15 years old and by all accounts is a vibrant, healthy young girl. But tonight she's lying in a hospital bed at St. Joseph's in Tampa, putting up the fight of her life. It was horrible. It was the, the worst feeling that, a, that you would ever imagine. Sonny came here last week with the flu, and it seemed like anything that could go wrong did. She coded twice, but doctors managed to bring her back. The virus attacked her heart and lungs. But we kind of just try to stay positive and know that we're, she's going to be able to talk to us again. Mom, dad, and sister right by her side every step of the way. It appears the Tenorock High School student and softball star will lose her left leg due to complications. I never in a million years would have expected this to take my kid down like it did. Anyone can get the flu and develop complications, but the risks are significantly higher for babies and the elderly. Sonny is obviously neither and has no underlying conditions that would make it worse. But this year, she did not get the flu shot. People need to take the, the flu seriously. I mean, it's, it's a serious illness. Her family believes if there's one thing pushing her to beat this, it's her love of music and country star Tracy Lawrence. Every night, her nurses turn up his station on Pandora. Her sister, Kara, wrote this touching open letter on Facebook, inviting the artist to stop by when he's in town next week to lift her spirits. It would mean the world to her. So. The post has been shared nearly a thousand times. And late today, the singer confirming he plans to visit Brandy before his concert next Friday and invited the family to the show. She would be in awe. <laughs> A generous gesture that may be enough to keep up the good fight. In Tampa, Ryan Raish, ABC Action News.